what is up you guys it's your boy dj leo back again with another tutorial and today we talking reason and i'm gonna start from scratch this is a beginner tutorial and i'm putting up a series where i get to teach reason in a step by step manner that you learn properly right so this is reason for beginners uh this is the first tutorial that i'm putting out on that particular class now we're going to talk about uh, the things that you have to get familiar if it's your first time in reason and where to find certain things that you might really need and get you going for the music making now before we get into that if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and hit the notification button and give this video a thumbs up and i'll keep the channel going so let's get to it let's get to it the first thing that you want to know in every software is how to get the metronome right how to get the metronome because you cannot make a beat without that metronome right so here in reason as soon as you open the software it's already activated just to make you not sweat about it so once you open it and click space it's as good as flute loops and it's gonna play right away is not the same as in Pro Tools where you have to create a click track here it goes on the fly right and uh, that one the click is already there the next thing you might need is the tempo now the tempo is very important every software you go to Cubase uh, Logic wherever you go the tempo is most important for me I don't start a beat or i don't start recording a session without a tempo even if i didn't make that beat i make sure i find the tempo of that beat before i start recording any voice whatsoever uh and another thing to mention here the master fader already comes out for you it's already brought up there you don't need to create it as a separate channel it's already created for you so you don't sweat about it so once you create any channel audio or instrument it's going to root itself into that stereo out channel the master fader so you don't have to worry about that either but uh, here it's what's not complicated what's not complicated it's very easy you start by what you want to do first what you want to do is say you want to create a beat then you're looking for instruments so as you can see to my left here it's everything you need it's instruments there's effects there's utilities which is the combinator patches and whatever which will discuss as we go up the class one step at a time you get to know all this stuff and what they really do right for the meantime you might want to just want to know where to find all these things so it's right here to the left there's players here which is uh, includes scales and codes and uh, bitmap uh arpeggio note echo you know the other cool things sound bank that's the most tricky part because the most question i get most of the time is, is where do we find the instruments in reason right so reason sounds that's where you get all the instruments now you go to reason sounds there's a lot of them a bunch you go to orchestra sounds there's another bunch of instruments you go to factory sounds there's another bunch of instruments and loops and patches and samples drum samples which are you know the ones you can select from like uh, a particular uh instrument say a kick drum or a snare or whatever you need individually you know that's the place and uh drum supply is a thing that you have to install separately and the loops rack extensions you definitely need to in install them separately the packs which is a new thing it comes with reason plus now i think it's plus and companion 
they just release that and what that does it it helps you to download more extensions and uh, packs that people are making and putting up there and you maybe you might want to get the progressions at uh, the samples and a lot of things are happening up there i haven't really gotten a chance to um experiment the whole thing right there once i do i'm sure in future you will let know about it but this is where you get everything right so let's say you want to start off by creating an instrument is it as good as just going through here right all these instruments say the radical piano grab that you can just drag it all right once you drag it it's you're good to go now you can play chord and that will play out of your midi right without no sweat another way you can do that is i'll just undo that another way you can do that is go up here and say create and then you create an instrument what that does it'll still bring you to the same drop menu right here so you just have to go ahead and uh, select what instrument you want you really want to start up with you can go to plex go to synth plex there's a lot of cool stuff in here and just double click it or drag it uh, it's as simple as that so from there you can go ahead and play code it's as simple as that right so let's say if you want to create an audio track as well you just right click on the blank space light click it and just say create an audio track right you create an audio track it's gonna show up right there and the good part is it will still root itself onto the mixer and straight to the main fader master fader and the good part is you can rename this as lead on the mixer and it will rename that on the track as well so it'll be easy for you to trace it like like this all right so it's as simple as that now let's talk about configuration uh how do i configure my audio my sound card to, to be recording because as you can see here I've created that audio track but as you can see my input is there but it's not recording why that is is because of this particular video for me to record and make this uh, tutorial for you like this I needed to use the FL studio as your drivers you go to preference here wait you go to edit and then you go to preferences down here and sorry about that let's go again preferences and where you want to go is audio you go to audio what you want to do is select an audio card driver which is uh the drivers for the sound card that you're using right here i'm using the euphoria umc 404 hd right which is uh this right here but i'm not going to select that because if i select that then i won't be able to make this tutorial and the voice come out like this but for this particular tutorial i'm using uh this primary drivers which allows the sound to play back and i could have also used uh the effort drivers right to allow the playback on the software to play right if I put effort drivers, it allow me to play the sound on the software as well as to speak through the mic and then everything goes. So what you want to do here is just as simple as select your interface, right? So this is it for the day, you guys. I think this is what you really need to get you started in Reason. And I'll talk about more stuff once I make the next tutorial on this class and uh if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and hit the notification button share the video uh with your friends share the links uh, and uh that's it for today until next time you guys stay blessed <laughs>